You ready to do this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I'm your host and I have my husband here with us today. And I'm Spencer Parker. Sharonda Parker is. And we have really, we haven't come up with a title for this video. I think we'll name it probably later. Mm -hmm. But this is one of those questions and answer segments and this is when I've already responded to the person but I read the question to my husband and I really wanted women to get a male's perspective because I think sometimes we want certain type of men in our lives yeah. right but a lot of times we don't really know how those type of men operate would that be fair yeah okay so I'm gonna read this. Come on. And I really wanted to go live on my other page, but this is my wife page, which is fine. But um, I really try to keep this page kind of clean. So this will have some uh, vulgar language uh, in this particular live. And I know <laughs> on my wife page, I really try to keep it clean mm -hmm. because it's a different type of audience. But for my YouTube, y'all already know how we coming. So, you know, we're going to get started. So, this came to me this morning at 8.45 a.m. this morning. And um, and it was basically, I'm going to give you a synopsis. The lady sent over a text message with a picture of her vagina. And basically, she sent the picture of the vagina and she told the man, Good morning. I need that in my life. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I got this all wrong. She sent the picture of the vagina over to the man and his response to her was, good morning, I need that in my life. Looks like she's ready. And the woman's response was, she's ready and she's patiently waiting. It's all yours if you want it. His response, are you giving it? Yes, I want it. Her response, yes. It'll be waiting for you. His response was just K. That was it. That was the synopsis of the text message. So he responded with K. So she sends me a message and says, good morning. I've been told I have good pussy and good head, but I'm very picky on who I give head to. I'm seeing this guy. I really, really like him. We've been friends for 10 years. We can talk to each other about anything, our relationships, we were basically friends with benefits at one point on two different pages, but he told me that he's moving back home. He sold his house and he's moving back as early as July. Last time that we had sex was Mother's Day and it was on a and it was totally different. He kissed me while doing it. We never did that. He was looking into my eyes. The questions are different now, like, is he interested? I let him video me while giving head. I never, I never let anyone video me. That was the first time. I stepped out of my comfort zone and I enjoyed doing it. And I made two different, she said role she did. Role playing videos. I made two different role playing videos Things like Fifty Shades of Grey. He told me, let me know what well, I wanted to do so we can do it. Okay, so I'm thinking she's basically saying he told me what he wanted to do. So that's why she kind of did it. And I told him we could take care of each other since he's home. I enjoy doing him. I get hot and turned on. But I want to know, and this is the question. I want to know what I can use to make my pussy and head. What I can use to make my pussy and head game better. To make him mine and want it more. I like him a lot. He is everything on my list. Okay. So, of course, my response to her was, you know, pussy and relationships are two different things. Because at the end of the day, you know, when people come to me for advice, I have to be honest with them. Pussy is only going to keep his attention for so long. This is what I told her. 
He's moving back home. That's great. But you really need to know what he wants at this point in his life. Men love great sex, but they love great women even more. What attributes are you bringing to the table other than pussy? When he moves back home, he's coming home to a familiar environment. Pussy is going to be everywhere. So what is going to make you different? Does he even want a relationship? Does he want to be married? These are the type of conversations that need to be had to make sure that he wants what you want. Because a man will record you and role play and will marry another woman. That was my response. All right. So, Spencer Parker read this because this was publicly on the page. And I said, husband, from a man's point of view, talk to us from a man's point of view. Okay. Because I'm, I want to go back to this last line. She says, I want to know what I can use to make my pussy and head game better, to make him mind and want it more. You are, okay. So, when I read that, okay, all of this other stuff was just basically red flags at the beginning. When we got down to the end, everything that I had and thought about this situation became true with them, them last couple of lines because it was kind of offensive to me because how you going to feel like you going to use your pussy to make him yours? Like, we are men. Like... Men don't think about sex 24 hours. I mean, they don't want sex 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So Are you no uh, sure? Because, you know, when you talk to men, they say, uh, studies show that, that sex is always on men's See, mind. Sex could always be on your mind, but damn, like, you can't fuck 24 hours a day, seven days a week. No. No, you cannot. So how is it that your pussy is the only, your pussy in your head game is the only thing you using to make better to be able to get him? What about your personality? What about what you bring to the table? What about your attitude? What about, you know, how, who you are as a person, generally? What your pussy got to do with this man sticking around for a long time? You setting yourself up to be a permanent baby mama. Because if you offering your pussy, right? Mm -hmm. All you offering is your pussy up. Your pussy come before everything else. You offering it up to get him, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. According to this... This is what she's wanting to use to lure him in. Okay, and we wondering why you got so many fatherless kids out here. You offering up your pussy as the first resort. Like, if you're giving him everything in the beginning, why would he want to stay with you? Why would I? It's only, like, y'all, y'all. <laughs> women will get mad, but men are, men are very logical. Men, women are very emotional when they're thinking, and this is emotional thinking versus logic. Okay, so let's go back to this here. Last time she had sex during Mother's Day, or for Mother's Day, I'm I, this is how this a, I'm a firm believer. Like it's like I look at how people drive. People drive how they drive, right? Meaning when I drive, if I'm a good driver, I'm a drive. Yeah. If I'm good at sex, I'm gonna have sex with you the way I want to have sex. Meaning that it's gonna be what I want it to be. It's gonna be memorable. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm gonna bring my A game. And it may not necessarily mean anything to me mentally or emotionally, but the act itself is going to be on the level that I'm used to performing. Yeah. So I don't think we can read into this kissing during sex because people do kiss during sex. I don't think we can read into this looking into the eyes and all of this kind of stuff. Like, I just kind of feel like, you know, he came there to do his job, which was to put the dick down and make you think about it later. Yeah, he did what he came to do. He, he did what he came to do. And and now he's doing what you asking him to do. Like, and it's, it's men, like, this man don't have no ties, obviously. Like, he's a single man. He out here, you know, exploring basically, mm -hmm. right? And he is basically vetting this lady, right? Okay, so he vetting her. He vetting this lady, right? Mm -hmm. And if you are throwing Everything that he trying to get at him, right? Mm -hmm. What is the purpose of him continuing to try? So, when I showed you this and you said that, you know, she's sending pussy pictures and all of this kind of stuff, right? One of the things that you brought to my attention is men like to be the aggressors. They like yeah. to, to chase. They like, especially a certain type of man, they like to be the one to run behind and yeah. all of this kind of stuff. But... The thing about that is, if you, 
if the woman is chasing him, right? Mm -hmm. And the only thing she's bringing to the table is sex, right? Mm -hmm. He looking for what else you have to offer because after he busts that nut, right? Mm -hmm. What's next? What's left? Well, you know, my thing is... I mean, what, what what other attributes did she talk about in her statement? She, she didn't talk about any other attributes in her statement. She said that they've been friends for 10 years. I'm the kind of person, if I've been friends with you for 10 years, right? It's certain things that I wanna, I'm i going to know about you. I, I'm going to know, you know, of course, you're buying your house. I mean, you're selling your house. But I, I should know your next move and what it is that you're trying to do within life. And I shouldn't feel no type of way by asking you, are you moving back because you're trying to settle down? Or are you moving back because... It's a financial decision because it's cheaper to live here. None of that matters. Um, None of that matters because she has basically made this person her personal fuck buddy. And that's all this is to him. Are you giving it? Yes, I want it. That's basic. Like, if you're going to give it to me, yeah, I'm going to come knock the bottom out of the car. Mm -hmm. Why not? I ain't doing nothing else. But women read way too much into these small things. Mm -hmm. But it comes with not thinking rationally. It's not thinking. It's, it's purely emotional. Mm -hmm. Because to him, he just going to bust a nut. And to him, you feel the same way because you're inviting him to do that with no strings attached. Okay. So let's let's get into this part here. Because my, my next question to you was, how, if he's moving back home, how should this conversation go? Because, okay, yeah, we, we've been having flings and we've been fucking, but if I want something more, I have to be able to express that and look like to me, I need to be finding out, okay, you moving home, so like, you know, what you doing? Should she be telling him that, you know, I'm interested in something more, or does that look like she's desperate, or how does that look to a man? Basically, this is desperation. Okay, this is desperation. This is desperation. This is basically desperation. You calling him to come get what he should be chasing after. Oh, okay. So basically, you calling him to get what he should be working for. Okay. So let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. You calling him to come get the pussy, right? Right. You telling him, okay, this yours. If mm -hmm. you want it. If you want it. Anytime you want it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. What has he done for it? Ooh. So, when we get into relationships with these type of people or situationships with these type of people, can we be surprised when they don't put in a certain type of work that we feel like they should be putting in? He, not, he, he don't have to put in no work because he's not obligated to. All he got, all he obligated to do is come bang your walls real good and go on about his business because that's all you are requiring. And if you do it the wrong way, you're gonna be you're gonna end up with a baby for him. And he gonna be on to the next one because at a certain point in his mind, you are only be, you go, you're only gonna be his fuck buddy. You never gonna be somebody he could build with. You never gonna be somebody who he respects on that level. Like he might respect you as a woman all day, but he ain't gonna respect you enough to make you his wife. Oh, okay. And let me just say this, ladies. This is why courtship is so important because a lot of people look down on courtship. A lot of people don't think that courtship is important, but it is important to actually court people in the part of the courtship process is to find out what it is that they want because you meet men at certain points in their life. And sometimes when you meet men at certain points in their life, they are ready to settle down. They are ready to build and they are ready. But the thing is, they have to know that you are the type of person that they want to do that with because they plan on building with you. You're going to carry their child. You're going to be the one nurturing. And so all of that matters. I think a lot of women just think men are just supposed to be the providers. And the thing that they require is pussy in order to be able to provide. You, you, you require pussy in order to be able to provide. And that's the extent of the man-woman relationship. And that really don't, they don't put no thought into having to deal with this man emotionally on an emotional level because he's just a man and he's supposed to provide. He ain't supposed to have no feelings. He ain't mm -hmm. supposed to feel nothing. He ain't supposed to do nothing but cater to me and what I want. So when women use their body like that, mm -hmm. like it make them look more like a prostitute or, or something like that. Like it, 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 it devalues you because you're using sex to try to get something that you should be using your 
personality, your your everyday self to get. Like, pussy not gonna keep him. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I just think that the way this should have go, because she just might have been in the moment and hot and heavy thinking about all that went on for Mother's Day and sent him the picture of the pussy. But I just think that if she really interested in wanting something solid and something more, she should just be like, you know, when you move back down here, you know, I would really like for us to, you know, go out and kick it and see if it turns into something, if that's what you're trying to do at this point in your life. Because I personally believe that you have to be intentional about things. Like, you you have to state what it is that you want it. Because I don't want to want a relationship, serious marriage and all of this, but I'm not dating people. I'm dating people who don't want the same thing that I want. Yeah, but you, you're speaking from a different perspective. Like, you're not speaking from this point of view. Okay. So, so this point of view, basically, she just saying that I'm just looking to bust a nut? No, this point of view, she basically using busting a nut to try to find love. Like, okay. it's not going to work. All right. So, young lady, <laughs> to answer your question, your question was, I want to know what can I use to make my pussy and head game better to make him mine? Use your fucking personality. Use <laughs> your motivation. Use your, make your, become a woman. And stop using your pussy to try to hold on to him. And that's what's going to keep it. Okay. Let me answer your question, ma'am. Sex is only going to get you so far. Uh, first of all, we already know that y'all attracted to each other. Sex is going to get you a bunch of baby dads. Okay. But men like men that, that keep women around is because these women have substance. So you have to find out. What he's interested in, very just as well. He got to find out what you're interested in. Like in other words, now it's time for y'all to connect on a mental level, because after y'all have sex, then what? Okay. And that and that is what reels men in and make them nails and make them want to be around you and make them want to build with you and and turn it into something else. Because at this point, we know that you can connect on a physical level, because most people connect on a physical level first. Yeah. Now it's time for you to start building on that mental level to find out exactly what it is that he wants, the direction he's going in life, and to see if y'all are going to be on the same page, to see if y'all have certain things that y'all are interested in. What can you teach him? What can he teach you? And all of this kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, you have, you have to break this down into like real simple terms. Okay. Like, so let's remove pussy. Let's, let's just pretend that we're going to take pussy off the table. She's going to remove pussy. What else are you bringing? <laughs> what type of manners, morals? What what else do you have other than pussy? Because when I'm talking to women, the one thing that we all have is that. So outside of that, ask yourself, outside of pussy and head, what are you going to bring to the table? What you bring to the table? Yeah, remove it. Exactly. Crickets. You don't get a damn thing. Nothing. There's nothing there. What else she what else she mean? What, I'm okay. I'm looking at just this, but what I'm telling it's women who's looking on. at this, remove <laughs> pussy, remove that. What else makes you a woman other than that? Because there's certain things that men like about women, and their femininity is one thing. And I'm gonna tell you something. This is not feminine. At all. This is really very masculine. When you send in pussy pictures, that you basically became the man. And you turned him into the woman, whether you know it or not. And you have some men that walk around saying, well, I like a woman that know what she want and go after she want and all this. But I'm going to tell you something. You have problems out of them type of men. Because when you want them to man up and step up, they fall back because they like a woman that take control and Which stand up. Which is a good and, segue into what I want to say. What would you want to say? Is, what if you add pussy? Add pussy to what? Add pussy. Okay, you got her one pussy, right? But what if you got two or three other women doing this same thing? Well, he is a single man, so it's a possibility that he can have other options. Yeah. So if you add her pussy with two or three other pussies, that means her pussy is not so special, right? Okay. So there ain't nothing you could do to make it better. Uh, do it like because you calling him to come get it. It's not nothing he working for, so he gonna come get your pussy, right? Mm -hmm. And he gonna go and work to get them other two or three pussies that he 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 he, 
Oh, food. so the one yeah. that he gonna value is pretty much it's the one that he work for. He'll go get them other two or three pussies that that call him, but the one he gotta work for is the one he gonna end up with. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. All right. That's how that go. Because <laughs> you gotta have people that with other things to offer other than just they pussy. Like you gonna have to work for this. You gonna have to get to know me. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to get to understand me. You're going to have to spend time with me. It's all kind of things that you should be given before you give your pussy. Okay. I don't just say man. And that is so <laughs> true when you think about it like that because the thing is, the connection comes from when you get to know a person and spend yeah. time with them and all of that. That's what builds the connection. Yeah. Because a lot of people have sex, but that don't mean they know the people that they screw. Yeah, because men would have sex and forget you. Oh Lord, and forget your name, and forget, and be like, I remember something about it. I, yeah, forget every goddamn thing. But women will carry it forever. And ever. <laughs> they have they members like elephants. Huh? Members like fucking elephants. You remember everything? The music was playing. <laughs> the shit that happened the day before. All that. You remember what you was wearing? You know the, the scene, the homies. That's, that's that's the difference between. Women and men, you know what I'm saying? We are way more logical than emotional. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And women will be emotional and they will read everything into absolutely nothing. And the man will be standing there totally in the blind because she went and asked another woman about the situation. Another <laughs> another person who feel with emotion about the situation <laughs> and instead of coming to the logical man and asking him, what did you mean by that? What, 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 what? what do K mean? That mean I'm coming get that pussy and I ain't got time to type the O. <laughs> All right. I think that's going to wrap up. <laughs> I think that's going to wrap up relationship talk with Sharonda today. Um, Y'all, we got this great game. I should have had it up here with me. But if you're on my Instagram and if you're on my YouTube, I'll make sure I add the promotional commercial at the end. But we got this great new game out called Come Face where, you know, everybody beating the meat and making the toy come and all of this kind of stuff. Awesome, awesome game. Uh, it's on the featured items on the website. The website is listed below. If you enjoyed this information and it blessed you, the cash app is below. Please feel free to send a tip. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you're not on my email list, make sure you register for my emails. I enjoyed you all today. You all be blessed. Today is Tuesday, which is our date night. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we about to get ready to go and prepare to spend the day together because Mr. Parker informed me that he is taking off today. So I have him all to myself today. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to join my husband today, y'all. Mm -hmm. You all be blessed. <laughs>